So today we're reviewing the application of the new Ford Pappers that we've received in, in Hayward and we'll go through a little step-by-step -step instruction. Uh, it's somewhat similar to the 3M Pappers that we previously had. Um, in case you're wondering, there's laminated step-by-step -step instructions and also when donning and doffing we always recommend having a buddy system just to make sure you're uh, being checked for avoiding cross-contamination because there are a couple of key steps. Um, kind of similar to the 3M Papper, we're going to lay out all of our equipment, do an equipment check. Um, this is a little bit different in the fact that this Papper unit is noticeably larger. Uh, must be a Ford engine in there. Um, the manufacturer recommends letting the monitor or the machine run for a minute, so I push the button on the bottom. They're a quiet machine, you almost can't hear it. Um, so while that's running for a minute, I am going to take off my mask and place it in an area that I've cleaned right over here and set that down just to save that mask and avoid any confusion. I'm going to hand wash. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to go through all my inspection of my equipment. Uh, the battery is a little bit different. It's a DeWalt battery. The nice thing about these new batteries is they do have a charge indicator. So while it's charging, you'll get um, the uh, color bar of three to know that it's fully charged. Um, there is currently a battery in this unit that's along the side here, this clear side, so I won't go through the trouble of showing you that. We're going to go through and inspect all your equipment, check your hoses for cracks. Um, that all looks good. Check these valves in there. That looks good. I'm going to check my, my hood. Just make sure there's no cracks because these, just as a reminder, these hoods are reusable. Um, so just make sure there's no cracks or anything in the, in the visor. And I've got my gloves laid out and then also my sterile gown. So flow indicator, that lets us know um, battery charge and filter. And that is clearly, as you can see, the little ball sprung right up to the top. So we know we're good there. Okay, now that I know that all my equipment and gear is ready, um, on the end of this hose, there's a little spot that you depress. These two tabs line up like so. You'll hear it click into place. Next thing I'm gonna do with this unit being a little heavier is using a countertop, just to kinda, of, like when you're putting on a big backpack. I've got that on. There's a little curve for lumbar support. Next thing I'm gonna do is get the other end of the hose attach that. You'll just hear that click into place. Okay, now that I've placed my hood on, hopefully you can hear me, you'll hear air, air blowing through. Um, it should fit comfortably right in front of your ears. Um, there is a headband on the top that's worth practicing before you apply. They're, they're adjustable, so the black portion goes in the front. Um, that all feels pretty secure. Next thing I'm going to do is put my gown on. Nice part about these is they are longer, so the gown should cover that all up. Put my gloves on, make sure that the goes over the elastic wrist portion of my gown. And now I'm all set. Now for the doffing portion, uh, which we also have instructions for, I'm gonna begin with, uh, I have two pairs of gloves on. Um, hand hygiene, I'm washing that outside pair of gloves. Um, I'm going to take one of these purple top wipes, just decontaminate the outside. This is while I'm in the patient's room. Going to remove my gloves and gown. Discard those. More hand hygiene. And then I'm going to exit the room and do a further decontam of this while removing the hood while it's still positive pressure.
once the hood's removed, then I'll do a more thorough, thorough cleaning of tubing and hood and then hang to dry.